But if you can believe it, huh. of the millions of insect species that, that exist. Yeah, there's more of them than us. There are over 2,000 types of edible insects. You ever eat an apple with a worm in it? Unless you're a cartoon character, probably not. Yeah. Should we get a basket? Yeah. yeah. Do you like uh, spicy food? I'm a fan of like the spicy food. Okay. But entomophagy, the practice of eating insects, may actually conquer global hunger while helping save the planet. This is an awesome grocery store, but there's no bugs on the shelves. If we yeah. want to break down the stigma and open people's minds to it, why aren't they next to the seitan or the basil or any other food item? I, I think that it's coming. It is still sensationalized and stigmatized a little bit. And so right now there are supermarkets that are carrying them, but it's just not prevalent. A big part of our goal and mission is to normalize it in America. We have to know what is edible and inedible. Yeah. But in New York, yeah. unfortunately, because of pesticides, have to get in the sewer. contaminants, yeah. and all that, uh, we don't we don't recommend people to to try Before to like just mean. just like yeah to, to get what even if your yard doesn't use it, yeah. your neighbor might. So and well, they travel. It's like yeah, exactly. Farm fresh bugs. Yeah. Right now, you think about insects, edible insects, and people think. Fear factor, I yeah. dare you to eat this. And right. what my focus is, is to help explain why the UN endorses edible insects mm -hmm. to address food security and sustainability. Overall, it takes a fraction of the resources, yeah. of the amount of water yeah. that it takes to, to grow the, the protein. The okay. UN's numbers are 2,000 gallons of water for a pound of beef and a gallon of water for a pound of cricket protein. Crickets love to be all close together, yeah. and cows, they need a lot of space to roam, to roam. Uh, you know, and they're yeah. a lot bigger. Yeah. Uh, the amount of feed more. that they need to eat, the greenhouse gas emissions that's produced, all these numbers are exponentially higher when you compare livestock like beef and right. pork and chicken to crickets. I feel really a great amount of privilege to be able to share something that people might go like, ooh, bugs, I don't know. Yeah. But then they see the food I'm sharing with them, yeah. and they're like, chef, your food, it compels me to want to try it, even though I did not think I'd be able to try a bug. A big part of this work that we're sharing, it's, it's with a concern and care for how are we going to feed the world's population in 2050. Eating insects will bring more awareness to insects, and with the great loss of insects that we're experiencing, yeah. giving them greater value may arguably create more appreciation for them and more respect for them. In my mind, this is the morning after Thanksgiving. Yes. And all your drunk uncles are gone home and you like look in there and everything is wrapped in tin foil and you're like, I can't with all of this. And you could substitute that turkey carcass for some beautiful little bugs that give you all that protein and don't take as many resources. Well, someone's a chef. I just, I just saw that on TV and I thought, like, <laughs> isn't that what everyone does? Yeah, these are the crickets that I got that were- Flash frozen. Were frozen and now we're gonna be able to really impart so much flavor by cooking it along with this delicious medley of veggies. 80% of the world's nations accept insects as a food source. So it's like starting to change the way that people think about it from yeah. insects as pests, like that gross thing that you don't want, to something that's nutritious, yeah. something that's farmed and harvested sustainably for yeah. our consumption. Yeah. This. Yeah. But you can see how the egg is kind of set now. Right. For the most part, it's almost set up to the top. Yeah. So it means now that we're ready for this flip. Perf. Uh, are we ready to do this? Do it. Okay, do the flip. Okay. Beautiful. Look at that. You're born for this. Cricket tortilla, and there's some legs.
I, I just love that this is a well-balanced dish that has a lot of uh, nutrients. It's all healthy, made it from scratch. The uh, crickets are this. popping. And the crickets aren't so, it's like, oh my God, like every, you know, it, it's just like blended in here, like one of the ingredients. Really. It really is. So, I'm, I'm gonna give it uh, two wings up. <laughs>